turnovers, and they have not given it away often. So, a big early momentum swing goes Clemson's way. And Klubnik to throw from the end zone. Well protected. He's going to take a shot. Looking for Tyler Brown. And overshoots the freshman. Ooh. Right here, if you're Clay Kane Klubnik, all you got to do is give him a little bit of air so he can run underneath that. You know, it might sound counterintuitive, Bob, but sometimes as a quarterback, throwing to the wide open guy can be a little bit difficult. That bad boy for the rest I, of the I game. did have it written down. Third down, Klubnik from the goal line. Over the middle, right through the hands of Tyler Brown. And it will be Clemson to punt for the end zone. And Bob, you know, we talk about this all the time. You got to help a brother out, right? HBO, right here, Tyler Brown, make that catch. Help a brother out, help your quarterback. Play action, tunnel screen. Well done by the North Carolina defense. They were there to follow it up. Keeper for Clemson. He's down the sideline. A little stutter step. Bumped out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Geo Biggers made the stop. That's a 22-yard quarterback run and a first down for Clubman. Yeah, what you see, Club is going to read the defensive end. And don't get it twisted, people. This guy's not sneaky athletic. Don't you dare say that about him. He's a 21-8, 200-meter runner coming out of high school, a.k.a. he can run, run. And that is something that they want him to get him more into the running game. Play action. their own 10 yard line as we take a look at the sophomore kid club nick from austin texas he was a texas state champion didn't play many close games in high school to say the least that has been a game management adjustment he's had to make with Dabo sweeney the last time north carolina saw him he was putting up touchdowns through the air and on the ground in the acc championship game 18 scores this year fourth best in the ACC. Knows that he has the confidence to come out here and try to complete it. He's going to try and visualize a third down conversion here. Bunch set right, third down four. Well protected. Double clutches. Checks it down underneath. And that goes nowhere. There to make the stop. And it'll be a three and out for Clemson. And everyone's going to ask, well, why did he double clutch it? Well, it's because the coverage didn't dictate itself. And you've got a safety coming downhill on a shallow route. So if Kate Kovnick would have been able to just see the full field goal, he could have hit a goal ball down the sideline in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Whenever you double clutch as a QB, most times that means you need to move on and progress. Right there, Kate should have progressed. And there's a chance he could have thrown a touchdown. That was fumbled or not was irrelevant. It was going to be a fourth down stop. And one of the keys that Dabo told us was the turnover margin. So they've got that going. Now they're trying to establish the run. Loved it to the sideline. Bobbling the football and holding on is Adam Randall. And he drags tacklers into plus territory. Seems like everybody's a little struggling to hold on to the football today. But you're going to see the RPO right here. Adam Randall threatens with vertical speed and then bobbles the ball. And maybe that helped him break that tackle. I don't know. The Tigers in business looking for their first points. Klubnik to throw. Sidearms one to the sideline. Trying to scoop it up was Jake Brenningstool. And it looks like he did for a gain of three. It's another third down coming for Clemson. <laughs> Jake Brenning still there at the end of the play. Try Bunch set right with Shipley and two tight ends on third down. Lovnick looks left instead. Throws the out. Tyler Brown. It looks to be good enough for a first down. Thanks a little bit. And as you said, Bob, he almost busted it. Play action. One on one on the outside. Stellato. First down. 
level. And level. after the injury timeout, Bob Schusen, RG3, Chris Button. Second down inside the 10 yard line for Clemson. Plutnick on a keeper with a cutback. Down to about the four yard line. Here by Mari Gaynor and Don Chapman cutting down Phil Moffa. Moffa and Shipley in the eye. Plutnick instead. Looking for the push. He's got the first down easily. First and goal the last few weeks. And now it's first and goal. Out to the edge. And losing a little team play of the drive. Second down and goal from the three. Lovnick with only 43 yards passing to this point. He'll try and throw for it here. Slap! It's a Brandon Stewart! Touchdown! What a play right there by Kane Plumpton, utilizing the RPO to get this guy, Jay Brandon Stewart, wide open. Can't wait to break that one down for you guys. Just a really nice job with all the misdirection. And Brendan Stuhl is a big target at 6'6", 230 pounds. Knocks the game at seven. Nearly five minutes gone by in the second quarter. And what you're gonna see is a motion across. You're gonna see the back come across. This guy's gonna come across the formation and Brendan Stuhl's gonna run up. Hit him with a nice little slant route. Beautiful job, misdirection. Quarterback, get it up over the guys. Touchdown right there for Jake Brenningstool. Clemson is in this thing. Well, he deserves some relaxation with the workload he's had of late. Clemson to throw on first down. Incomplete. A couple of weeks ago, Mampa was, and Coach Sweeney said that he finally knows who he is. He's comfortable with that. And he knows that when he has to be the guy, he can be. Quarterback run to the 20 yard line. Goes. Blitz coming on third down. Clubbed it over the middle. High throw incomplete. And that is a tough spot to put your receiver in as Josh Sapp, the big tight end, took a shot to the midsection. They love their mismatches with their tight ends, but right here across the middle, Kane's got to put this. With some NHL games out there, you should see the setup. It's amazing. Klubnik <laughs> on the run gets back the penalty yards, lost plus one. Here, there. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it yet, Bob. But oh, I've seen it. That bad boy is special. Shipley, a couple of more. So now it will heatedly. Cade has a really good comfortability with Jake Brennan who is up in the slot at the top of your screen. Shipley breaks a tackle, flag down, and he is brought down. The most recent, of course, calls Athens home. Back to back like Drake. Klubnik with a check down. Stalata, catch and run to midfield. I mean, my God, Nick. How long are you going to coach, man? <laughs> he is killing it. Screen to Tyler Brown. Wrapped up. Thrown out of bounds by Don Chapman. Oh. And that will cost North Carolina. And you're going to see him come in here at the very end. And he's landing down with a side suplex. Man. Oh. Now we have time for their offense. Oh, yeah, it's a, a ton of time. And the most important thing for Kate Klumpnik, you can't take a sack here. And it's that first first down that really gets this drive rolling. Focus on being high percentage here if you're Garrett Riley. And Kate's got to have a very simple mindset. Go through your reads, get the ball out of your hand. North Carolina brings some pressure, and there's the quick check down to Tyler Brown. Uh, trying to get to the sideline, he picks up eight. But the Tigers go quickly. Another blitz coming. Another check down. First down, out of bounds. Because he's been really bad under pressure so far this year. Protection, solid once again. Same ball is on time. Clothing decision. When you get the clock stopped after a first down, you think you can get a play called. Yeah, but you see Cade Clubnick go through his read here. Stilato, nice job. 24 seconds. Clubnick. Incomplete. And now because you clocked it. Or whatever it may be, but you're right. It does put you in a situation where you don't have as many downs, so this third and ten is huge. Here's the blitz on third down. Klubnik, he's going to lock one towards the end zone, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Geo Biggers. Oh, Kane Klubnik just threw that one up for grabs. Now, there is a flag down in the offense. Rookie passer, defense number 33. For one in the ACC. 
in tackles last season and up at the top of the leaderboard again this year. Rumps the passer with the headshot to Clubden. Oh, man, you look at Cedric Gray coming around on the twist stunt there at the linebacker spot. Hits. Even if it's not really violent contact. Exactly. It's a tough call, though. It's a, very it's a tough call. ask of Cedric Gray there to not try and make a play. Second and five from the nine after the timeout. Clubman, swing pass, mop up, spins out of bounds. And he's showing himself very well throughout the season. Clubman keeps it, dives. I think he's got the first down. Very close. The officials with 13 seconds to go in the half. Yeah, so you'll see K. Clubnick once again. Quarterback's own read. Ooh, Cayman Rucker goes down. He pulls it outside. Find two, split two. It's something. So second down and goal. Clubnick looking end zone. Floats one. Bobble incomplete. Terrific defense. Cedric Gray won the duel there. And you'll see. Brenningstool tries to take it off the top of his head. But I'm not going to lie to you guys, if you if we get a review of that play from earlier, Cedric Gray was holding Jake Brenningstool like a grudge. And here's what I'm talking about. Cedric Gray is lined up in the slot with Jake Brenningstool. Now watch when he comes off the ball. Tries to get him a little sauce. Oh my goodness, held that man by his shoulder pad, but he got up and was still able to impact the play. So although... Hoping for a takeaway, but at worst they're hoping to surrender only a field goal before halftime. Shipley and Mappa in the backfield. Clubman steps up. Clubman can't take a sack. Reaches the ball now. Touchdown! They say he broke the play on the reach. Clubman by inches. Gets the ball in the end zone. Oh my goodness, Kate Clubman hit him with a spin move. Now we're going to see if he gets it in, but watch him go through his progressions. Flat, not there. Middle route, not there. Step up. All right, now it's time to go. It's time to get saucy. Let's see if we slow that down and see if he actually is short. But near midfield, we are going for it. They are certainly playing to win. As Kate Klubnick back to work to start off the third quarter after he ended the first half. Nosing the football across the goal line. A slant here. That's still out of high throw. And he takes through that one, and you see him turning his legs to turn a run that could have been a two-yard gain into a four-yard gain. That's the beauty of having a big back like him. Here comes a blitz. Klubnik lobs one down the middle, hoping for Hannafin incomplete. So North Carolina heats up Kate Klubnik, and he tried to beat the zero blitz with a middle deep throw. It's a three and out. And he took the advice from earlier in the game. Give some air to the throw, but because UNC's D-line got to him so fast. Great field position for Clemson as they get the stop on downs. Klubnik off play action. Long throw to the sideline. It's dropped right in. Adam Randall, a contested catch. And Dabo Sweeney all the way downfield to chip on top of Randall. He loves it. Yeah, and you'll see that they run an underneath route. I've seen this one used in the NFL. It looks like a shallow rub, and he kind of just continues to go up the field with two posts on the other side. Nice job by Kate Klubnik dropping it in there, and Adam Randall. Show Here at Death Valley after the injury timeout. A first down. Klubnik back to throw. The long check down. Stellato. Well, he could, keeps on taking hits like the Energizer Bunny. Blakes <laughs> is what's allowed him to get better throughout the year, and now he is simply taking what the defense gives him. Swing pass, Tyler Bright. He's got a first down. Life as a quarterback, managing the game has to be a learned skill. It is definitely a learned skill, and he's learned some hard lessons this year, but I hope he'll be a better quarterback in the future because of it. He's going to run it here. Inside the five, down to the four. Looking towards them running the football for sure. There's the quarterback sneak. They have Mafa lined up for the push from behind for Klubnik. And where will they mark it? Wow. This is close to yard line, and he is barely inside the three, it seems. Yeah, it appears that they did not push his touch enough to help him get that first down. You would think with a full yard to go, you wouldn't run that. But when they ran the touch push play earlier in this game, 
Play action. Klubnik. And this one lofted down to about the 13-yard line for Tyler Brown. Know that he was going to be the player that he has become today, but after the camp, I absolutely knew this guy was going to be special. Slam. It looks like short of the first. Brown in motion. Might be a free play. It's a flag down. Back shoulder throw. That's out of bounds. But a flag was thrown on the far side of the field as it looked as if the hard count may have. Yeah. Heels having a tough time getting lined up. Clubnick on a keeper with a stiff arm. Being stretched out and brought down. Great pursuit. And have to turn it back in, and that's why he gets one of those unnecessary hits that you hate to see if you're Dabo Sweeney or Garrett Riley on the quarterback. Klubnik again on the run. Flags everywhere. Zips one up the sideline, but this will most likely be holding. Back in the running game in a much bigger way. So this will be nothing different for them on the offensive side of the ball. Klubnik. Locks one down the sideline. Broken up. Allen. Oh, yes, it was great coverage. You see, they double move him. Guess what? Marcus Allen got hit with a touchdown on a double move last week. This out as part of the group to check on a senior linebacker. Yeah, and you'll see Cedric Gray right here, middle of your screen, number 33, one of the best backers in the ACC. Going up, fill the gap. Collisions with the offensive line. The North Carolina defense without Gray on the field. Final play of the third quarter, most likely. And there's Shipley. Clumped it and first down. And he's got it. And then so. Get the ball to great players in space. Good things happen. And will ship. In the fourth quarter, when it comes to defense, they give up more rushing yards. They give up more punts, uh, points because they're tiring down because they don't rotate a ton. So this is perfectly set up for them to run the air out of the football to close this game. Look out to the sideline. A broken tackle. Brings to it. Across the 50-yard line into UNC territory with a first down. He picks up 15. It's because they weren't able to stop anybody on defense. And certainly Duke with the backup quarterback out there. Now they're having to face this running attack with Kate Club. Deep shot. Looking for Shipley. could say, man, I wish he threw this about seven yards further so it was a touchdown. But for Will Shipley, a running back, to have these type of balls. Play action. Flag down. And Klubnik throws it away. Points. And let's move on in this game and trust that our defense is going to continue to shut down North Carolina's offense. Klubnik on the run. Looking for his second rushing touchdown of the game. And he protects the ball and goes out of A bootleg for Klubnik, and he'll be dragged down well behind the line of scrimmage. And the Save some time for his offense, and let's see, assuming a field goal try here for Clemson. And the reason I say that about Garrett Riley and Kate Klubnik is because today they've come out and they've shown that maturation. They have been explosive. Cade has used his legs and, and used the phrase that Dabo said, BYOG, bring your own guts. These guys were gutty today. They've gutted out this season at 6 and 4, moving to 7 and 4. But when you look at their offense last year compared to this year, there are some out there that say, hey, why would you make the switch? Well, when your top two receivers are out, Cole Turner and Antonio Williams, and you've had a bunch of injuries along the offensive line with Marcus Tate uh, and their starting right guard as well being out, it's going to take guys like Garrett Riley and Kate Public learning from their mistakes and continuing to push forward throughout the rest of the season. They have done that. And today, I think they showed you that Clemson isn't going anywhere for a long time. Does not call their final timeout at this point. You can just about take a knee. If you're Clemson and Kate Klubnik, the last time North Carolina saw Klubnik was in the ACC championship game last season. He had a terrific performance, was named the game MVP, and he's been very efficient and basically mistake-free again today. Exactly, and it's 